Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. Um, a lot of people say Windows Movie Maker is absolutely terrible, but um, you can still make videos on it. And of course it is free, so you can't complain that much. But um, today I'm going to uh, show you how to make a good video on Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to teach you how to use uh, effects, transitions, and titles to make your videos look better. And I'm also going to uh, teach you how to make a video and sound quality better on Windows Movie Maker. So uh, here's my uh, Windows Movie Maker tutorial. Before you even start using Windows Movie Maker, you're going to want to do a couple of things when you're taping your video. Always make sure that you're using a tripod or something that can keep the camera steady, because a shaky camera will always make the video look a lot worse. Also use a lot of light. Uh, lighting is always a good thing for video because it just uh, brings everything out more into the video. Now if you don't have enough light, there is a way to change this in Windows Movie Maker, but it's always better to have natural light in the video. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about today is um, making video and audio better. Um, as I said earlier with the light, um, lighting is a very important thing, but sometimes just light doesn't go good on a video that you want to keep. Uh, I have very bad light from um, my webcam video right now. Uh, this was taken from my webcam, so the audio is pretty low and the video is pretty bad, but I still want to make this into a good video. So what I'm going to do to make the video look better is I'm going to go over to edit and effects and I'm going to add a uh, brightness increase to it. Okay, I'm going to add another brightness increase. And there you go. The video now looks lighter. Uh, it still doesn't look as good as if there was a lot of light in the video, but it at least um, just makes the video look better. The other problem with this video, and I know you can't hear the audio to it, but the audio to it is very... Um, it's not very um, loud at all. So as you can see from the volume, it's already at the top. I can't change it anymore. But I still want to make the volume louder. So pretty much all you have to do is right click on the audio, copy it, then go to audio or music, and then paste it on it. And now you have uh, two audio sources from the clip on to the same thing and it's the same audio. It's going to go at the same time, but um, it just makes the audio louder which is always good because bad audio then no one can hear what you're saying or doing anything so um, that's how to make uh, video look better uh, now I'm gonna talk about uh, adding titles and uh, credits onto a video okay now I'm going to talk about um, adding titles credits transitions and effects to the video so um, I'm gonna get uh, two clips right now and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, on these clips, um, it doesn't. the video doesn't really start for a little bit, as you can see. And it's not too long of a pause, but I want the video to start right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the uh, side of the clip, and I'm going to trim off to where the video finally starts. I'm going to do the same thing to the next clip, too. But the other problem with this, too, is even though it starts fine, right between this clip and this clip, it just stops and goes to the next clip, which is not very good. So what I'm going to talk about now is transitions. Now, uh, always a good transition to use is a fade in and a fade out. That's the simplest transition. I use that one all the time because it's the easiest to use. It just lets the clip end and lets, lets the other clip begin. But, if you don't uh, want a simple transition like that, there's many other good transitions that you can have. Uh, some of them are kind of weird, uh, but one I like is uh, Flip. It just uh, flips to the next clip. 
which is always a good one. Uh, that's my favorite transition. I don't usually use too many transitions. I just use fade in and fade out. But there's many of them that you could use to add something to your video. So um, that's how you use a transition. Okay, now that I have the clips all set up and everything with a transition and uh, fade in and fade outs, um, I'm going to add some titles and credits to it. So um, one thing I like to do with titles um, is I don't like to have just a regular title. I like to have a title on the clip because if you just have a title at the beginning of the movie, it's kind of wasting time. And if you want just a short video, you can have the title right on the video and it works well. So um, on this video, I guess I'm playing What is Love, so I just put What is Love cover. And I'm going to add that title. And then I'm just going to make sure it starts at where I want it to start. So right after the transition, uh, this title is going to come up. And see, it just adds to the clip. Other than having just a regular title right before the video, it's better to have it, especially if you're using a transition, to have it right on the clip. Um, another thing is, uh, of course, credits at the end of the movie. Uh, my favorite credit to put is uh, please rate and comment because I'm going to put this on YouTube. So, please rate and comment. That's probably the easiest one you could use. Uh, you could also like uh, put what kind of camera you're using or what anything you want on there. But I just uh, usually put a simple please rate and comment right at the end of the video. And there you go. So, um... That's how you add a title or a credit. At least that's the way that I usually add titles and credits, but uh, you can pretty much do them any way you want. The last thing I'm going to do to this clip is add an effect to it. Now, I already did the effect with the brightness increase, but that is more for changing the video. I'm going to have an effect that's uh, a little different. Um, I'm going to have a... Uh, hue color on it. This just changes the color of the video. I'm gonna add that to this video just so it gives a kind of a different effect to it. So it looks like this now. Okay, I like that effect. It's a pretty good effect to have. Um, another good effect I like to use is just the grayscale. Uh, this is if you want to make your movie just look uh, a little older or different. And um, yeah, you can have many of these effects, but those are just the two ones that I like to use the most. Um, you can also use uh, zoom in ones. I like using zoom ins for... Um, very um, short videos. If you have a long video and it takes a while for the zoom in to happen, so uh, I like using it for uh, short videos. But uh, whatever you want to do with that is okay. So now all I have to do is I have this clip figured out and I changed it and everything. Um, I want to save it, and I want to save it in the best video quality that I can have. So instead of doing best quality for playback on my computer. I'm going to go down here to Windows Media HD 720. Now, uh, for all you XP users, uh, you can have high quality, but you can't have HD. For all Vista users, you can have HD. Now, I'm not going to publish this because um, I don't want to have to publish it to uh, the whole camera, but um, it usually does it like that. Now, uh, one thing you're going to want to notice, though, is that HD takes a while to upload. Uh, so if you're uploading it to YouTube, it will take uh, a lot longer than just a regular quality. So you have to really think if you want to sit there for a while waiting for your video to upload. Uh, if you have a short video, it will upload pretty fast. But if you have like an 8-minute video, it might take a little while. You might want to have second thoughts about uploading in HD. But if you really care about quality, uploading in HD is always good. So, um... That's uh, the effects and uh, saving. Uh -huh.